Dreams are for the night time. Days are wide awake. Visions are for crazy men. Now me, for goodness sake, but I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. Where are you going? To a fire? Yes, what do you want? Well, what about me? Where am I going to sit? Try somebody's lap. I pick you, but how about you sit on my lap? Where's the camera for this? I'm on a two-shot here, Freddie, you and Susan. Okay, honey, add a close-up of me at the end. We want to be on the money for the lap, you know what I mean? A close-up, right? Yeah, I got it. Now, wait a minute, Freddie. I'm the director, right? So direct. Okay, add a close-up of Freddie after the two-shot. Okay, right. Good. Okay, there's some shtick I want to add to this piece over here. Where are you guys going? Lunch. You're going to be a while. Yeah, they might as well break. Here, I'll show you what okay. I want to do here. Lunch, guys. Brown. No, uh, Louis Ciccone. My wife just started working here, Marge. Marge, Marge, new script assistant. Yeah, um, she's, uh, still on set. All right, thanks. I've seen things, believe me, you've never seen before. First, I get down to the bottom of the pole, do the thing with the hat. Grab the slicker, and we're into it. Okay, let's give us some thought. Now, hold on. All right. I come down the pole. We leave the flip of the hat in. It looks flashy. Good. Okay, then I go for a slicker. At this point, the fire bell is bing, 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 bing. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Rush into it. Get it on. Ooh. <laughs> Don't encourage him. Oh. oh, gee, I'm sorry. Never apologize for laughing, honey. Sergeant Brown. That's all right. Hi, Richmond. I'm the producer. Freddie will be with you in a moment. Yeah, I would appreciate it. He's a little shook. What do you think, Tim? Too broad Real killer, me. eh? Too broad for me. <laughs> well, it works for me. You put it in, Doc. Ah, there's my lunch date. I'll see you one. Hey, listen, you want me to put that in? Yeah, put it in. Louie, what are you doing here? I just can't see how you're doing, and then to talk about Jason's birthday. Well, look, call me tonight, okay, Lucas? I'm busy now. I, I can't discuss it. All right, no, no, hold on. I just want to ask one thing. I mean, since we're separated, do we buy separate gifts? Are we going to buy one big gift like we always did? What do you do? What's the proper thing here? Do I know? Am I Emily Post? Well, look, why don't you let me buy you lunch, and we'll talk about it then, okay? Lou, please, I can't go to lunch. Now I've got to work, don't you see? Well, here, what do you got to do? Let me, I'll help you. Come here. Oh, oh, my God, I right, had everyone right, look, in order. On, don't touch them, Lou! You want to go to lunch, I'll go to lunch, but just don't touch my papers, okay? Right. Don't, I mean it. Don't touch them. All right, hold, hold these. Right. Wait a minute. Marge, hold. Marge. Marge? This came in this morning's mail? Yeah, that's correct, Sergeant. And as Freddie rightly thought, we should call in the police. It's number six in a series. It's all the same sicko stuff. Now, I told Freddy that when you are the star of the number one sitcom in this country, you've got to expect a little crank mail. There's a lot of weirdos out there. I don't get crank mail. I get fan mail. I'm a comic, remember? Everybody loves the guy. As you know, he's number one in the country. I'll tell you, some maniac's trying to kill me. I can read, Mr. Harris. Well, good for you. What are you going to do about it? 
Well, I'll run these through the lab for possible traces. I'll talk to the department about getting you some protection. Now, that sounds very good, doesn't it, Freddy? Yeah, yeah. Is that baby food? Pure bananas. Stomach shot. There's no picnic trying to make people laugh, you know. All right, relax. Freddy, take it easy. All right, all right. Sergeant, let me show you. Oh. I love you, babe. Man's flipped out. Who? Freddy gets a couple of crank letters. He goes paranoid on me. Even paranoids have enemies. Look, uh, Sergeant, if there is anything, I mean anything at all, that you can do to cool him out, I'd certainly appreciate it. I'm two away from 65. Pardon? Two more lousy episodes, and I'm going to have 65 shows. If you have uh, 65 episodes of a TV series, you've got a chance for a good syndicated sale in the United States. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I don't watch much television. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll talk to my chief and see if we can line up some security. Oh, yeah. Uh... It's got plastic balls, and you, you connect that. You you know, you hook them together. You make things out. I don't like it. It sounds weird. It's not weird. They show it on TV. It's a Space Age Erector set. <laughs> that is not an Erector set. An no, Erector set is made of walls. metal with nuts and bolts. You put it together with a little screwdriver. It doesn't have any plastic balls. If you come in on it with me, I can get him the big set. <sighs> What about a junior encyclopedia or an atlas? He loves atlases. Oh, get him what you want. I'll get him a small set. No, 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 no. Come on. I mean, you're his mother. I'm his father. Okay, we're going to go into this together. What do you call it? The... Capsella. Capsella. Here. I'll give you my half of no the way. money. No way. No way. I'm going to pay for this, okay? Please. No, no. We're going to go 50 50. There's my half. Take All right, it. but I'm going to pay for the lunch. No. You pay for what you ate, and I will pay for what I uh, ate. Excuse me, Marge, please. Now, I invited you to lunch, right? So I'm going to pay for everything, including the tip. Now, please. Here, you pay. What? It's my wallet. Take the money, please. Okay? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Louis, I'm gonna be late. Stand by, please, positions. On your own cue, when you're ready. As of today, I'm instituting a regular inspection. Including the lock. Adler! Oh, no need to apologize, Chief. I'll pick it up. Is that where he's gonna sit? Yeah. Right, right there. there. Sleazy! Okay. Uh, Sleazy! You ask me, Freddy. Okay, in the fourth, uh, give me Sonny to win, dancer to place, and exhibitionist to show. One final announcement. Due to City Hall budget cuts, each chief is required to cut his crew by one man. What? what? Post it. Where do you want me to post this? Over there, by the bulletin board. Todd, never ever cover the money, okay? Todd, put it at the downstage end of the board, please. You go now. Go ahead, Freddie. Okay, let me have laid back in the fifth, manic, depressive in the sixth, hermaphrodite in the seventh and eighth. You got it. What are you all looking at? Didn't you hear what the chief said? One of us is going to get the boot. What are you worried about? They have to go by seniority, and the only guy with more seniority than me is Chuckles. Why am I worried? He said one man. The chief won't cut me. I'm the token woman. Golly, then it's me. I was the last one to join before you. Chief Freddy, how come you still got seniority? You quit last year for a week, remember? I didn't quit. That was just a misunderstanding. Anyway, Chuckles over there put it down as a leave of absence. <laughs> He wouldn't dare. Don't bet on it. Okay, cut. Very nice, Freddy. Yeah, I know. Todd, you don't have a line in that bit. Yeah, I noticed. Well, a writer sent something down for you. Just a minute. Yeah, props. We've got to have a lot more stuff in that locker than that, okay? This should do it. Actually, you had enough stuff, but a lot of it didn't work, you know? Like watermelons, fried chicken, and afro bones. Just kidding you, Davey. I'm just kidding you. Todd, you want to write these lines in? I can't find my script. You left it in uh, my dressing room. We were running the lines. Here. March. What are you doing here? My wallet. I, I gave it to you at lunch, you remember? Yeah. You didn't give it back to me. I don't well, have it. You got it, okay? Okay, it's in my pocketbook. 
Your pocketbook? Where's yeah. your pocketbook? Yeah. Um, it's over there. I really don't want to do this whole scene wearing a towel, you know? No problem. I hey, 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 wait, wait. Just cut the towel. Let her do it in her birthday suit. I've just about had it with this sexist crap, you know? Try to imagine how little I care. Marge, I got it with some luck. Okay, all right, goodbye, yes, okay, sir. bye. Yeah. I'm coming. Leave me alone, will you? I got a job to do. Hey, so do I, right? I'm on the story. Cassette, I'm a reporter, remember? It's show business, right? Boy, this business is rough. What? The Todd finally gets a good joke in that first scene and he uh, croaks before he has a chance to play it. Let me see that. How did I miss that? That's funny. Hey, I can use that in the, the new changes here. Sure, it says uh, washroom, doesn't it? Son of a gun, it doesn't say washroom. Huh? Can you stay in line or I'll ban you from the studio? Yeah, can you tell me what kind of bond did that? No. A uh, won't or can't? No comment. Is it true that the police received a number of threatening letters and uh, they didn't take them seriously? I took them sir. The police department has no comment to make at this stage of the investigation. my shoes a nice shine. <laughs> Only kidding you, Davy. I love you. Just kidding. Well, that's very interesting, Mr. Ciccone, but I still can't release a, an active police file. They're confidential. Oh, come on, Redfern. Now, what am I asking here? I'm asking for a little peek, okay? Give me a break. Have I ever steered you wrong before? Yeah. Well, doesn't mean I'm gonna steer you wrong again, does it? Oh, come on, please help me over here, huh? Well, I'll see what I can do. Call me at 9 tomorrow. T no, I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow. Please, do something for me today, okay? Please. You know, I know this may come as a surprise to you, Mr. Ciccone, but I am actually a very busy person. You, you want to talk about busy? I'm gonna tell you busy, Redfern. Call you know me tomorrow. what I have to do to... Hi, Ma. How you doing? Oh, fine, Louis. What do you got there? This is Jason's birthday present. You got any wrapping paper? Hey, Dad. Hi, Jason. Hi. Capsella! Right. Hey, wow. It's supposed to be your present for Friday, uh, your birthday. It's the 1,000 side of Dad. I love you. You love me? Yeah. Take it now. I want to build a lunar rover. Uh, not on the counter. I uh, okay. I'll build it over there. It's a fabulous set. It makes everything. The Astro, the village, the uh. You Luna. know what Marge is planned for Friday? No, what's she doing? She's what? arranging to take Jason, your father, and me to the television taping of Red Suspenders. That's nice. She'll have a good time. That's some job she's got with Freddie Harris. Yes. Yeah, so. I never miss his shows. He kills me. Now, he's a funny guy, Mom. 
No, uh, Jason, that's not how you do it. Wait a minute, huh? Uh, the lady at the store showed me exactly how to do this, right? Yes, you don't want to break it because you just got it, right? Okay, uh, no. no. You take uh, this, right? This is the wheel. You put this, uh... Now, hold it. She did it before. Uh, Wait. Uh, give me that. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Now, watch. Take this. Right. Put it there. Take the blue wire. Put it in the red. Red! Yeah. Believe this? The kid's a genius. He takes after his father, right? Look at this. A machine that goes back and forth. You ready? You never bought me anything like this, Mom. I'm only giving you a copy of this police report with the understanding that it is completely off the record. Guaranteed. I am taking a tremendous risk giving this report to you. If anyone finds out, I could lose my job. My lips are sealed. I'm only giving it to you because you have been right a few times in the past and you may be right again. I say thank you, but my lips are sealed. Yeah, it's Sleazy? Yeah, it's me, Freddy. Uh -huh. Okay, in the fourth race, give me Sonny to win, dancer to place, and exhibitionist to show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, let me have laid back in the fifth, manic and depressive in the sixth, and hermaphrodite in the seventh and eighth. Yeah. Somebody want to say the line? Where the hell are we? Oh, uh, now wait a minute. Uh, I guess. Arthur's line, I think. Oh, can you believe it? I was waiting for Todd to post the memo. Eli, you're supposed to give the memo to Bud. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It, it's my fault. I, I wasn't there to pick it up. All right, look, we're all getting a little rattled. Let's take 15 minutes, please. Props. You. Can you prepare a new memo for Eli? Hi, babe. How are you? Hi, how you doing? Okay. Who the hell is that guy up there? He's my reporter. What? He's a, a reporter from the Gazette, and he's doing a story here on the bombing. Keep the schlepper away from me, will you? The stomach's killing me. Okay. Are you trying to get me fired? I'm not trying to get you fired. I'm just trying to do my job. Will okay? you let me do mine? Okay, fine. You see this? These are... Wait. These are copies of the letters that the bomber sent to Freddy. Look at this. You see how the S is always faint, and the E strikes slightly higher than the rest of the line. You know why that is? That's because all these letters were typed on the same typewriter. I think that your friend Yule, the props man, just might be the killer. David, you... Hi. Uh, uh, Look, I... David, I, you... David, just... I want you to take one of these letters, and I want you to retype it on that typewriter, okay? I don't know. I'm on my coffee break. Okay, and I don't good. I'm going to get you coffee with sugar, right? Sugar and milk. Okay? Yes. Anything I can help you with? Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, well, you know, uh, what I was doing, I was typing up my notes, you know, and like, uh, I didn't want to go upstairs, so I thought I'd just borrow your typewriter. You don't care, do you? Be my guest. Uh, okay. Well, well, what have we here? David, we told you not to hang around the white women. Just kidding, right, Freddie? No. That'll teach you to steal my line. Hey, 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 only kidding. I'm a comic, just kidding. You doesn't make the white boss frown. Hi, babe. Hi. Uh, Honey, would you get somebody to go out and give me a couple of yogurts, please? Oh, sure. What kind? A uh, plain, just plain. Okay. Hey, you don't have to be typing memos for Yule. That's his job. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? What the hell are you doing with this? Now, wait a minute. I can explain everything to you. Oh, that you can, sweetheart. Hey, everybody, come here. She was typing one of these damn letters. This is your sicko right here. Okay. Look at this okay. thing. Excuse me, please. Uh, hold it. Uh, she got this letter from me. From you? That's right. Said, aren't you the guy from the newspaper? Lou Ciccone, Toronto Gazette. How you doing? What the hell are you trying to pull? This isn't some kind of a dumb stunt, is no, it? No, that's not a stunt, you see, because the threatening letters to Freddie were typed on that typewriter, which means that the bomb was not set by a fan. It came from an insider. And? And, um, somebody in the studio is a murderer. Her? No, 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 it's not a murder. That's my wife. Ex-wife. Come on, we're just separated, eh? I don't give a damn what's happening here. Call the cops. Somebody call the cops.
morning, Sergeant. Did you check out the typewriter yet? Yeah, it's the one. Hey, there's no need to thank me. I'm just doing my job here, that's all. You know, I knew it was an inside job all the while. You should have kept your mouth shut. You've got the actors who are paranoid. They're ducking every time someone throws a punchline. Hey, you want me to tell you who I think did it? No, I want you to get lost. Well, let me just take a little peek at the dressing room, okay? I just want to, you know, just take a look again, okay? Hey, I gave you the lead right on the typewriter. You owe it to me. You got five minutes, right? I love you, Sue. Take your one look around and get out. That's it, one look, and I'm getting out, okay? Thanks, sweetheart. with one little tiny charm. It's a fireman's hat. Who's ever got that bracelet is the killer. What the hell? Don't arrest me, Lou. I'm gonna go very quietly. Freddie gave it to me. Gave everybody one. Cast? The cast, the crew, the fans. If you weren't such a pain in the ass, Lou, we'd give you one, too. Susan, I understand, sweetheart, we're all under a lot of pressure here. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. But Sergeant Brown has doubled. He's doubled the security in this studio, and he has assured us all that there is very minimal danger involved here. Oh, sure. That's great for him. All his suspects are in one place. That should only bother someone with something to hide. Why do I feel I mean the nag at the Christie play? I just want to thank each and every one of you for agreeing to come in here and work despite these problems. Now, if we can just hang in until Friday, I can think we that we've got Can we cut the halftime pep talk high? Let's just do the rehearsal so we can all go home, okay? Absolutely right, Freddy. Let's get on with this next scene. Tim? You got it high. Let's go. Marge, where's the next scene? Um, it's scene four, Freddy and Drag. Oh, yeah, I know. Freddy, let's do it, please. Now, after scene four, we'll get into the scenes. Okay, I want you to put an A and a B. Who the hell's the costume? You? You? What is it, Freddy? Why isn't the costume on that rack? Costumes had to make some alterations. I told you to hang the drag stuff on the rack and leave it there. I'm props. It's not my job. It's supposed to be there. Why isn't it there? You're fired! You get out of here! You're fired! I'm what? Get this gorilla out of here! You get out of here! I want you out of here! Oh, my God, am I? 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 That's it. Oh. You, get down here. Oh. Get him out of here. All right, babe? Yeah. Let's catch your breath for a moment, okay? You'll be all right. You'll be all right. We'll get some help in here. Uh, you got the wrong guy. He didn't do it. Hey, hold off on charging Yule. He didn't do it. I thought he was the man that you suspected. Yo, I was wrong. You were wrong. That, that's right, I was wrong. Yule had the motive. I mean, Freddy is a raging bigot, but Yule didn't do it. Yes, but you told me the other day that you had a vision that showed that Yule did do it. I, 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 I was wrong, okay? I had another vision. The killer is a white man. I saw his wrist. He's got white wrist. Then your first vision was wrong. Oh, no, that was right. I was wrong. What the hell am I talking? Italian, look. Yule didn't do it, okay? 
The killer is still in the studio. All right. And so is my wife. I gotta go, please. Huh? But, uh... Look, just hold off on charging you, okay? But, uh... Now, I know that this has been a shock for all of us. I mean, who would have thought that David could have... Well, anyway, it is over now. Everybody is safe, thank goodness, and we can go forward. And Freddy. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. The man sprains his ankle in the morning, and he's back from the hospital in the afternoon ready to work. Now, you talk about your troopers. Will you cut out the cheerleading high? Now, how are we going to explain this K.A. on the show? That's what I want to know. Highest writers. Give some thought to that, Fred. Writers? That's questionable. The only thing they could come up with was a skiing accident. <clears throat> how about if uh, you trip on a fire hose? Uh, we'll come up with something better than that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen to the lady. Tripped on a fire hose. That could work. Of course. Here I am, killing myself, trying to look good so I don't get fired, and I trip on a fire hose. That is good. I like it. Fire hose. Funny, funny. That's good. It could work. I'll get the writers working on this. Yeah. Great stuff, Freddie. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Not now, Louie. Okay, you uh, want to work on that drag scene yeah. again, Fred? No. Yeah. no. Okay, we'll go from the uh, top of the scene, Marge. Uh, she's going to be a second, okay? Second. second. A minute. Take another minute. Get your coat to quit this job. What? Just get your coat to quit this job, okay? I'm not quitting this job! The killer is still in the studio, which means that he might try to kill Freddie again, which means that he might try to kill you. You want to see a killer? Do you want to see somebody get killed? Do you? Proceed, please. Oh, Martin, can I ever take a quick look? How much? Can I see for a second? No. Where are you going? You going home or go with me? I'm not going home. We're going for a drink. Oh, good. I'll buy you a drink. Can I buy you a drink? No. It's been a great break for me. I, I love the show. I love the people on it. I love the character I play. But uh, what I'd really like to do is direct. You'd like to direct some episodes of Red Suspenders? No, I mean direct features. Oh. And I'd uh, like to record some of the country and western songs I've been writing. <laughs> Heck, I'd like to do it all. I don't know why you're angry. I mean, after all, I am the injured party here. I did not have this bump this well, morning. There's more where that came from. Shh. We're trying to listen to this. Are you going to sit down or what? I have to walk through here. I'm going to uh, sit down over here. What do you have? Nothing, thank you. Nothing? Nothing. What are you, a camel? you got to have something. All right, let me have a uh, soda water. Perrier, with a twist? Uh, soda water, no twist. Thank you. Freddie is the star of the show, but you wouldn't know it on the set. Uh, he makes sure that we all get our chance to shine. That was uh, nicely put, bud. Freddie will really appreciate it. Tell me, Pinocchio, aren't you afraid your nose is going to come right through the screen? Come on, what am I supposed to say, that we all eat his guts? Oh. Pretty ain't that bad. Look, LaManna, just because you get off on kissing his ego doesn't mean I have to. I know it sounds uh, cliché, but the cast is, is really like a family, and Freddie's kind of a big brother to us all. How did you manage to keep a straight face? Well, you look good, kid, but I can't stomach any more of this dialogue. No offense. Give me another old-fashioned, Sean. Okay. What are you drinking? Is that gin and... Soda? No, it's uh, just end soda. Well, Mr. Reporter, how'd you like a great sob story for your newspaper? Try it on me. Old actor gets dumped from sitcom series. They're cutting you out of the show? Yeah, Freddie's been counting laughs. Huh? That audience out there loves me as much as they do Freddie, if not more. Freddie doesn't like that. So they're going to have a fire department without a chief? Freddie's going to be the new chief. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. It's time I packed it in anyway. I'll be 66 in June. 66? You don't look 66. I know. I look 86. That's what this business does to you. We're talking about Corey Starr of Red Center, and we'll be right back. After this. Listen, I'm just going to take a commercial break, okay? 
to see in a minute. So I should have let it all hang out, eh? Total honesty? Yes, that's right. Okay. Well, well, when you do your interview, just make sure you tell her that you slept with Freddie to get the job. I slept with Freddie after I got the job. And I still get nightmares. Well, listen, Marge, don't you think that uh, we should let this whole thing go? I mean, after all, it is Jason's birthday tomorrow. I think a little reconciliation is called for here, don't you? Huh? Well, come on, now, please. Come on. Okay. You know, the thing is, I'm just I'm very back nervous. With I'm Dark just Dark very Dark nervous, Dark Robin. I want to make Wait, good at but it, there's okay? One thing I'm dying coming to so I'm the young me. man who volunteered for the Marine Corps and served as a demolitions expert in Vietnam end up doing a situation comedy. <laughs> That's incredible. How did you find out I'd been in them? You'd be surprised what I know about you. March. March. Hey, March. Hey, March, come on. March, come on. March. Wait a minute. March. Sorry, right? All night long you keep saying to me, let's talk, let's talk. I say, okay. I say two words, you say, shut up. I'm gonna watch TV. That was an important... I had to watch oh, it, it was just important. get out of my life, Louie. I said I was sorry. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, Marge, Marge, wait a minute, please. Wait. What? Give me a ride home, will you? Come on. French Oconee. Have I got a suspect for you? Look, do you know what time it is? It's 11 o'clock what? Well, did it ever occur to you that a person may be in bed at 11 o'clock? Come on, nobody goes to bed at 11 o'clock. I do. I found out that Bud Corey was a demolitions expert in Vietnam. He's got to be the bomber. No, he doesn't. His girlfriend had an affair with Harris. An expert would have created a very sophisticated bomb. The one that killed Miller was a very simple one. Now, almost anybody could have made it. All right, all right, all right. F forget Corey, okay? I got lots of anybody. You want some other anybody's? Pick one. Do you have any hard evidence? There's nothing definite yet, but I'm uh, working on it. Ewell's bail hearing is Tuesday morning. Good night. Uh, Redfern. <sighs> Who's that? You don't want to know. Hmm. I'll see you tonight, honey. Have a good day. Mr. Harris, can I talk to you for a second? I can't talk to the press now. I'm late for rehearsal, buddy. Uh, David Ewell didn't try to kill you. I I'm sorry. I'm a little hard of hearing. I got a bandage on my ankle, you know? No, no. I mean, he, he did then, but uh, not before. Not before. Then, but not before. It's too bad Vaudeville's dead. You know, you do a great double talk routine. Look, David Ewell didn't set the bomb, okay? He didn't do that. Then who did? I don't know, but I, I, I know it's somebody in that studio, so you better be careful. You know, I don't blame your wife for beating on you. Because you're a crazy person. <laughs> you meet them all here, I'll tell you. Be careful, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I'm Evelyn Harris, Freddie's wife. Gucci Coney, Toronto Gazette. Do you really believe someone is still trying to kill Freddie? Yeah. Would you come and see me this afternoon at 2? Yes. Thank sure. you. If I tell you what I know, will you promise to keep it confidential? As long as you don't tell me you killed Todd Miller, I promise. Can I have one of these nuts? Help yourself. Thank you. Todd Miller killed Todd Miller. I beg your pardon? I'm sure Todd Miller was setting that bomb for Freddie. And it went off accidentally. Well, that's one possibility I never consider. Don't feel bad. It is rather absurd. But I'm sure that's what happened. How can you be so sure? Are you clairvoyant or something? Todd and I were having an affair. Oh. He wanted me to leave Freddy, but I wouldn't. I know how terrible Freddy can be with other people, but he isn't that way with me. I love him. 
How come you were having an affair with Todd Miller? I don't know. Maybe I read too many women's magazines. Todd was very emotional, very passionate. I think he decided to kill Freddy so we could be together. Uh, Mrs. Harris, an innocent man is being charged for murder. What can I do? I can't tell Freddy I've had an affair with Todd. That would destroy him. Marge, please, hey, please, look, I really got to talk to you, okay? Listen, whatever it is, I don't have time to hear no, it, Lou. I found out who set that bomb. Who was it? I can't take it. I'm going. No, 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 come on, Marge, please, I, I got a real problem here. You see, I promised the person who told me that I wouldn't tell anybody. But if I don't tell anybody, then Yule's going to get charged for a murder he didn't do. He'll go to prison. He didn't do it. You're right, Lou, you do have a problem. But right now, I've got a problem. I got to get back to work and get a present for Freddy. What's the occasion? I wants to give him something for making it through the week without having a nervous breakdown. That's where I'm going, Lou, right in here. Now, what is this? Oh, it's a, a store for left-handed people. For Freddy's left-handed? Yeah. Every week we get better looking audiences. Well, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 64th taping of Red Suspenders. Hey, 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 hey. okay. Now, my name, my name is Hi Richmond, and I am the producer of the show. More of them. That's it. Up there, I don't know if you can see him in the control room, the guy with the headset there, he is going to be recording your loud and enthusiastic laughter. And I want to give him a sample of that laughter right now. So, everybody, let's go. Give us a kiss, give us a kiss. Mwah! All right, everybody, the tension is mounting. We okay, Marge yeah. and now Jeff, now I want to add 76 A on show. three, and right? That show? After that, 76 and, on two for another close-up okay. of Freddy. The now the star of Red Suspenders, the number one show in the country, the number one comic in the country, Mr. Freddy Harris. I'll tell you, I love this guy. Freddy! Hi, folks, oh, and welcome you. to the show. Thanks for coming down tonight. Oh, hey, they are a good-looking audience, sure eh? They sure are. You'll have to pardon the cane, but you see, I was doing a Fred Astaire routine, and my left foot decided to do a U-turn in the middle of a two-step. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, folks, we have a new script assistant on the show, and her name is Marge Ciccone, and she's doing a terrific job for us, and I happen to know, on good authority, that her son is in the audience tonight, Jason... Where are you? Yeah, come on down on, here, son. Here. Come on. Come on. Let's hear it for Jason. Uh, Camera four, when we're through, we'll be in the shot, all right? Mom, okay, let's get on with the next piece of business. I'll bet you're 15 years old. Mom, 10. 
10? Yep. Yeah. Well, he's big enough to be 15, eh? <laughs> you know, this is a real special day for Jason, and, well, I, I found out about it. Ready? Hey, hey! What are we here? He's the nicest person. Yeah, except for one thing. What? It was my idea. Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim, thanks a lot. You special effects guys. You, you they got us. They don't go out. Hey, I'll Damn, tell you what. Don't go out. Why don't you... Back on again. It's okay. Take it over there, son, and you stomp on it. But don't ahead, hit the cake. Ahead. You there eat you the go. cake. Thank you. Let us go. Okay, folks. Now, you came to be entertained, and... By golly, I think we got a good one, eh, Hi? <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> it looks like they want me. Enjoy the show. Hey, hey, let's hear it for them. The guys are beautiful. Okay, we're almost ready to go. So sit back, relax, and remember exactly what I told you. Lots of applause, lots of enthusiasm, and I know you're gonna love it. Thank you. One and all. One and all. Okay. Forty pairs of socks and hang them out on the line. I can hang two dozen shirts before you can count from one to nine. I can scoop up a great big dip of love from the dripping can. Throw it in the skillet, but do my shopping and hurry back before it melts in the pan. Cause I'm a woman. I'll tell you the game. Sweet, what is this all about? Well, Gene, if a guy has to be a woman to keep his job around here, I'm willing to make the switch. Well, if you're a woman, I'm going to switch. Freddy, you don't really think you're going to get away with this, do you? Please! Call me Frederico. I think he's kind of cute. Thanks, honey. It'll never work. I'm the token woman around here. You may be token, honey, but I'm the real thing. I'll see you in the shower. <laughs> I want to talk to you about this. I really think this is saved by the bell. <laughs> Can I have the autograph, Freddy? It's for my kid. Huh. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it's funny, you're the only left-handed person in the studio. You're kidding, huh? There you go. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about the bomber anymore, Freddy. Well, I knew that is. As soon as they put the cuffs on you. Well, David Yule didn't kill Todd Miller, you did. What the hell are you talking about? You wrote those crank letters yourself, didn't you? Huh? It was an act, right? And, uh, why would I want to kill Todd Miller? I don't know. I promised somebody I wouldn't talk about that. Maybe you ought to ask her. Evelyn, what the hell are you doing here? How did you find out about Todd and me, Freddie? That jerk told me. Can you believe that? He told me. He'd be alive today, but he had to tell me. He's crazy. Write whatever you want, Mr. Chicona. Evelyn? Thanks. Thanks a lot, 
Terrible, thank you very much. Why terrible? Ewell's been released and Freddie Harris has been charged with murder. I thought she'd be on top of the world. My mother's not talking to me because she can't believe her favorite comic could be a murderer. My wife's not talking to me because she thinks I rigged the whole thing just so she'd lose her job. Even my father's not talking to me. Why? By the time I get back from the TV studio, his bread was burned. <sighs> well, I'm still talking to you. Oh, thanks. Um, may I buy you lunch, Mr. Ciccone? Why don't you call me Louie? Okay. Where do you eat? Uh, just in the cafeteria. So I don't need a tie, right? I'm hoping and wishing that the next apparition is the sight of you welcoming me home. It's hard enough living without having visions to the left and the right of you. They won't leave me alone. Give me a cold, hard fact. Don't arrest me, Lou. I'm gonna go very quietly. Freddie gave it to me. Gave everybody one. Cast? The cast, the crew, the fans. If you weren't such a pain in the ass, Lou. We'd give you one, too. Jeez. Susan, I understand. Sweetheart, we're all under a lot of pressure here. Thanks, babe. But Sergeant Brown has doubled. He's doubled the security in this studio, and he has assured us all that there is very minimal danger involved here. Oh, sure. That's great for him. All his suspects are in one place. That should only bother someone with something to hide. Why do I feel they mean the nag at the Christie play? I just want to thank each and every one of you for agreeing to come in here and work despite these problems. Now, if we can just hang in until Friday, I can think we that we've got Can we cut out the halftime pep talk high? Let's just do the rehearsal so we can all go home, okay? Absolutely right, Freddy. Let's get on with this next scene. Tim? You got it. Hi. Let's go. Marge, where's the next scene? Um, it's scene four, Freddy and Drag. Oh, yeah, I know. Freddy? Yes, sir, please. No, after scene four, we'll get into the scene. Okay, I want you to put an A and a B. Who the hell's the costume? You? You? What is it, Freddy? Why isn't the costume on that rack? Costumes had to make some alterations. I told you to hang the drag stuff on the rack and leave it there. I'm props. It's not my job. It's supposed to be there. Why isn't it there? You're fired! You get out of here! You're fired! I'm what? Get this gorilla out of here! You get out of here! I want you out of here! You're... 
I'm a girl, am I? I'm a girl, am I? Am I? Hey, Jackie! Come on, here! Don't run from the door! Come on! I'm sorry, you girl! I'm sorry, you girl! Here, don't run! That's it. Oh. You, get down here. Look at oh. Let's get him out of here. All right, babe? Yeah. Let's catch your breath for a moment, okay? You'll okay. be all right. You'll be all right. We'll get some help in here. Uh, you got the wrong guy. He didn't get please. You know, I know this may come as a surprise to you, Mr. Ciccone, but I am actually a very busy person. You, you want to talk about busy? I'm going to tell you busy, Red Friday. You know what I have to do to... Hi, Ma. How you doing? Oh, fine, Louis. What do you got there? This is Jason's birthday present. You got any wrapping paper? Hey, Dad. Hi, Jason. Hey. Godzilla! Right. Hey, wow. This is supposed to be your present for Friday, uh, your birthday? It's the 1,000 set of that. I love you. You love me? Yeah. Take it now. I want to build a lunar rover. Uh, not on the counter. Uh, okay. I'll build it over there. It's a fabulous set. It makes everything. The Astro, the village, the uh, You Luna. know what Marge is planned for Friday? No, what's she doing? She's arranging to take Jason, your father, and me to the television taping of Red Suspenders. Well, that's nice. She'll have a good time. That's some job she's got with Freddie Harris. Yes. Yeah, so. I never miss his shows. He kills me. Well, he's a funny guy, Mom. Now, uh, Jason, that's not how you do it. Wait a minute, huh? Uh, the lady at the store showed me exactly how to do this, right? Yes, you don't want to break it because you just got it, right? Yeah, no. no. You take uh, this, right? This is the wheel. You put this, uh... Now, hold it. She did it before. Uh, Wait. Uh, oh. Give me the axe. All right, all right, all right, yeah. Now, watch. Take this. Right. Put it there. The blue wire. Put it in the red. Yeah. Believe this? The kid's a genius. He takes after his father, right? Look at this. A machine that goes back and forth. You ready? You never bought me anything like this, Mom. I'm only giving you a copy of this police report with the understanding that it is completely off the record. Guaranteed. I am taking a tremendous risk giving this report to you. If anyone finds out, I could lose my job. My lips are sealed. I'm only giving it to you because you have been right a few times in the past and you may be right again. I say thank you, but my lips are sealed. <laughs> Yeah, it's Sleazy? Yeah, it's me, Freddy. Aha, uh -huh. okay. In the fourth race, give me Sonny to win, Dancer to place, and Exhibitionist to show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, let me have Laid Back in the fifth, Manic and Depressive in the sixth, and Hermaphrodite in the seventh and eighth. Yeah. Somebody want to say the line? Where the hell are we? Oh, uh, now wait a minute, uh, I guess it's Arthur's line, I think. Oh, can you believe it? I was waiting for Todd to post a memo. Eli, you're supposed to give the memo to Bud. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It, it's my fault. I, I wasn't there to pick it up. All right, look, we're all getting a little rattled. Let's take 15 minutes, please. Props. Yo. Can you prepare a new memo for Eli? Hi, babe, how are you? Hi, how you doing? Okay. Who the hell is that guy up there? Encourage him. Oh, oh, gee, I'm sorry. Never apologize for laughing, honey. Sergeant Brown. That's all right. Hi, Richmond. I'm the producer. Freddie will be with you in a moment. Yeah, I would appreciate it. He's a little shook. What do you think, Tim? Too broad. Real killer, eh? Too broad for me. <laughs> well, it works for me. You put it in, Doc. Ah, there's my lunch date. I'll see you one. Hey, listen, you want me to put that in? Yeah, put it in. Jeez, that Freddie Harris is smaller in real life. In TV, he looks so big, you know? Louie, what are you doing here? I, I just can't see how you're doing, and then to talk about Jason's birthday. 
Well, look, call me tonight, okay, Lucas? I'm busy now. I, I can't discuss it. I don't know. Hold on. I just want to ask one thing. I mean, since we're separated, do we buy separate gifts? Are we going to buy one big gift like we always did? What do you do? What's the proper thing here? Do I know? Am I Emily Post? Well, look, why don't you let me buy you lunch, and we'll talk about it then, okay? Well, please, I can't go to lunch. Now I've got to work, don't you see? Well, here, what do you got to do? Let me, I'll help you. Give me a Oh, my God. I right, had everyone right, look, in order. Look, 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 look. Don't touch them, Lou. You want to go to lunch, I'll go to lunch, but just don't touch my papers, okay? Right, okay. Don, I mean it. Don't touch them. All right, hold, hold these. Right. Wait a minute. Marge, hold. Marge. Marge. This came in this morning's mail? Yeah, that's correct, Sergeant. And it's Freddie rightly thought we should call in the police. It's number six in a series. It's all the same sicko stuff. Now, I told Freddie that when you are the star of the number one sitcom in this country, you've got to expect a little crank mail. There's a lot of weirdos out there. I don't get crank mail. I get fan mail. I'm a comic, remember? Everybody loves the guy. As you know, he's number one in the country. I tell you, some maniac's trying to kill me. I can read, Mr. Harris. Well, good for you. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'll run these through the lab for possible traces and I'll talk to the department about getting you some protection. Now, that sounds very good, doesn't it, Freddy? Yeah, yeah. Is that baby food? Pured bananas. Stomach shot. No picnic trying to make people laugh, you know. All right, relax. Freddy, take it easy. All right, all right. Sergeant, let me show you. Oh. I love you, babe. Man's flipped out. Ooh, Freddy gets a couple of crank letters. He goes paranoid on me. Even paranoids have enemies. Look, uh, Sergeant, if there is anything, I mean anything at all, that you can do to cool him out, I'd certainly appreciate it. I'm two away from 65. Pardon? Two more. Somebody want to say the line? Where the hell are we? Oh, uh, now wait a minute. Uh, I guess it's Arthur's line, I think. Oh, can you believe it? I was waiting for Todd to post a memo. Eli, you're supposed to give the memo to Bud. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It, it's my fault. I, I wasn't there to pick it up. All right, look, we're all getting a little rattled. Let's take 15 minutes, please. Props. Yo. Can you prepare a new memo for Eli? Hi, babe. How are you? Hi, how you doing? Okay. Who the hell is that guy up there? He's my reporter. He's what? He's a, a reporter from the Gazette, and he's doing a story here on the bombing. Keep the schlepper away from me, will you? His stomach's killing me. OK. Are you trying to get me fired? I'm not trying to get you fired. I'm just trying to do my job. Will okay? you let me do mine? OK, fine. You see this? These are, wait, these are copies of the letters that the bomber sent to Freddy. Look at this. You see how the S is always faint and the E strikes slightly higher than the rest of the line? You know why that is? That's because all these letters were typed on the same typewriter. I think that your friend Yule, the props man, just might be the killer. David, you... Hi. Hi. Thank you, Dylan. Look, I, I, you. David, just, I want you to take one of these letters and I want you to retype it on that typewriter, okay? I don't know. I'm on my coffee break. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to get you coffee with sugar, right? Sugar and milk. Yes. Okay. Anything I can help you with? Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, well, you know, uh, what I was doing, I was typing up my notes, you know, and like, uh, I didn't want to go upstairs, so I thought I'd just borrow your typewriter. You don't care, do you? Be my guest. Uh, okay. Well, well, what have we here? David, we told you not to hang around the white women. Just kidding, right, Freddy? No. That'll teach you to steal my line. Hey, hey, hey. Only kidding. I'm a comic. Just kidding. You dasn't make the white boss frown. Hi, babe. Hi. Uh, Honey, would you get somebody to go out and give me a couple of yogurts, please? Oh, well, sure. What kind? Oh, plain. Just plain. OK. Hey, you don't have to be typing memos for you. That's his job. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? What the hell are you doing with this? Now, wait a minute. I can explain everything to you. Oh, that's a chance, sweetheart. Hey, everybody, come here. 
She was typing one of these damn letters. This is your sicko right here. Okay. Look at this thing. Excuse me, please. Hold it. Uh, she got this letter from me. From you? That's right. I said, aren't you the guy from the newspaper? Lou Chicone, Toronto Gazette. How you doing? Down here. You may be choking, honey, but I'm the real thing. <laughs> I'll see you in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you about this. I need to be this Saved by the bell. Can I have the autograph, Freddy? It's for my kid. Huh. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it's funny. You're the only left-handed person in the studio. No kidding. Huh? There you go. I don't think you're going to have to worry about the bomber anymore, Freddy. Well, I knew that is. As soon as they put the cuffs on you. Well, David Yule didn't kill Todd Miller. You did. What the hell are you talking about? You wrote those crank letters yourself, didn't you? Huh? It was an act, right? And, uh, why would I want to kill Todd Miller? I don't know. I promised somebody I wouldn't talk about that. Maybe you ought to ask her. Evelyn, what the hell are you doing here? How did you find out about Todd and me, Freddie? That jerk told me. Can you believe that? He told me. He'd be alive today, but he had to tell me. He's crazy. Write whatever you want, Mr. Chicona. Evelyn? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Never mind one. Cut the scene. Cut the scene. Wait a minute. March, hold, March. March. This came in this morning's mail. Yeah, that's correct, Sergeant. And as Freddie rightly thought, we should call in the police. It's number six in a series. It's all the same sicko stuff. Now, I told Freddie that when you are the star of the number one sitcom in this country, you've got to expect a little crank mail. There's a lot of weirdos out there. I don't get crank mail. I get fan mail. I'm a comic, remember? Everybody loves the guy. As you know, he's number one in the country. I tell you, some maniac's trying to kill me. I can read, Mr. Harris. Well, good for you. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'll run these through the lab for possible traces and we'll talk to the department about getting you some protection. Now, that sounds very good, doesn't it, Freddy? Yeah, yeah. Is that baby food? Pured bananas. Stomach shot. There's no picnic trying to make people laugh, you know. All right, relax. Freddy, take it easy. All right, all right. Sergeant, let me show you. Oh. I love you, babe. Man's flipped out. Who? Freddy gets a couple of crank letters. He goes paranoid on me. Even paranoids have enemies. Look, uh, Sergeant, if there is anything, I mean anything at all, that you can do to cool him out, I'd certainly appreciate it. I'm two away from 65. Pardon? Two more lousy episodes, and I'm going to have 65 shows. If you have uh, 
65 episodes of a TV series, you've got a chance for a good syndicated sale in the United States. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't watch much television. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll talk to my chief and see if we can line up some security. Oh, yeah. Uh... It's got plastic balls, and you, you connect that. You, you know, you hook them together. You make things out. I don't like it. It sounds weird. It's not weird. They show it on TV. It's a Space Age Erector set. <laughs> that is not an Erector set. An no, Erector set is made of metal nuts. with nuts and bolts. You put it together with a little screwdriver. It doesn't have any plastic balls. If you come in on it with me, I can get him the big set. <sighs> What about a junior encyclopedia or an atlas? He loves atlases. Oh, get him what you want. I'll get him a small set. No, 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 no. Come on. I mean, you're his mother. I'm his father. Okay, we're going to go into this together. What do you call it? The... Capsella. Capsella. Here. I'll give you my half of no the way. money. No way. No way. I'm going to pay for this, okay? Please. No, now we're going to go 50 50. There's my half. Take All right, it. but I'm going to pay for the lunch. No. You pay for what you ate, and I will pay for what I uh, ate. Excuse me, Marge, please. Now, I invited you to lunch, right? So I'm going to pay for everything, including the tip. Now, please. Here, you pay. What? It's my wallet. Take the money, please. Okay? Get it going back. Hey. Stand by, please, positions. On your own cue, when you're ready. As of today, I'm instituting a regular inspection, including the lock. Adler! Oh, no need to apologize, Chief. I'll pick it up. Is that where he's going to sit? Yeah. Right there. Sleazy. Okay. Uh, Sleazy. Yeah, ask me Freddy. OK, in the fourth, uh, give me Sonny to win, dancer to place, an exhibitionist to show. One final announcement. Due to city hall budget cuts, each chief is required to cut his crew by one man. What? what? Post it. Where do you want me to post this? Over there, by the bulletin board. Todd, never, ever cover the money, okay? Todd, put it at the downstage end of the board, please. You go now. Go ahead, Freddy. Okay, let me have laid back in the fifth, manic, depressive in the sixth, hermaphrodite in the seventh and eighth. You got it. What are y'all looking at? Didn't you hear what the chief said? One of us is going to get the boot. What are you worried about? They have to go by seniority, and the only guy with more seniority than me is Chuckles. Why am I worried? He said one man, the chief won't cut me, I'm the token woman. Golly, then it's me. I was the last one to join before you. Chief Freddy, how come you still got seniority? You quit last year for a week, remember? I didn't quit. That was just a misunderstanding. Anyway, Chuckles over there put it down as a leave of absence. <laughs> he wouldn't dare. Don't bet on it. OK, cut. Very nice, Freddy. Yeah, I know. Todd, you don't have a line in that bit. Yeah, notice. Well, the writer sent something down for you. Just a minute. Yeah, props. We've got to have a lot more stuff in that locker than that, okay? This should do it. Actually, you had enough stuff, but a lot of it didn't work, you know? Like watermelons, fried chicken, and afro bones. Just kidding you, Davey. I'm just kidding you. Todd, you want to write these lines in? I can't find my script. You left it in uh, my dressing room. We were running the lines. Mm -hmm. Here. What are you doing here? My wallet. I, I gave it to you at lunch, you remember? Yeah. You didn't give it back to me. I don't well, have it. You got it, okay? Okay, it's in my pocketbook. It's in your pocketbook? Where's yeah. your pocketbook? Yeah. Um, it's over there. I really don't want to do this whole scene wearing a towel, you know? No problem. I hey, 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 wait, wait. Just cut the towel. Let her do it in her birthday suit. I've just about had it with this sexist crap, you know? Try to imagine how little I care. God, it was in the okay, all right, goodbye, yes, okay, sir. bye. Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean I'm going to steal you wrong again, does it? Now, come on, please help me over here, huh? Well, I'll see what I can do. Call me at 9 tomorrow. T no, I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. Please, do something for me today, okay? Please. You know, I know this may come as a surprise to you, Mr. Ciccone, but I am actually a very busy person. You, you want to talk about busy? I'm going to tell you busy, Red Call you me know tomorrow. what I have to do to... <laughs> Hi, Ma, how you doing? Oh, fine, Louise. What do you got there? This is Jason's birthday present. You got any wrapping paper? Hey, guys. Hi, Jason. Hey. Capsella! Right. Hey, wow. This is supposed to be your present for Friday, uh, your birthday? It's the 1,000 set or that. I love you. You love me? Yeah. Take it now. 
I want to build a little rover. Uh, not on the counter. Uh, okay. I'll build it over there. It's a fabulous set. It makes everything. The Astro, the village, the... Uh, you know Luna. what Marge has planned for Friday? No, what's she doing? Man? She's arranging to take Jason, your father, and me to the television taping of Red Suspenders. Well, that's nice. We'll have a good time. That's some job she's got with Freddie Harris. Yes. Yeah, uh... I never miss his shows. He kills me. Well, he's a funny guy, Mom. No, uh, Jason, that's not how you do it. Wait a minute, huh? Uh, the lady at the store showed me exactly how to do this, right? Yes, you don't want to break it because you just got it, right? Yeah, no. no. You take uh, this, right? This is the wheel. You put this, uh... Now, hold it. She did it before. Uh, Wait. Uh, oh. Give me that. All right, all right, all right, here. Yeah. Now, watch. Take this. Right. Put it there. The blue wire. Press it in the red. Yeah. Believe this? The kid's a genius. He takes after his father, right? Look at this. A machine that goes back and forth. You ready? You never bought me anything like this, Mom. I'm only giving you a copy of this police report with the understanding that it is completely off the record. Guaranteed. I am taking a tremendous risk giving this report to you. If anyone finds out, I could lose my job. My lips are sealed. I'm only giving it to you because you have been right a few times in the past and you may be right again. I say thank you, but my lips are sealed. Yeah, it's Sleazy? Yeah, it's me, Freddy. Aha, uh -huh. okay. In the fourth race, give me Sonny to win, dancer to place, and exhibitionist to show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, let me have laid back in the fifth, manic and depressive in the sixth, and hermaphrodite in the seventh and eighth. Yeah. Somebody want to say the line? Where the hell are we? Oh, uh, now wait a minute. Uh, I guess... Arthur's line, I think. Oh, can you believe it? I was waiting for Todd to post a memo. Eli, you're supposed to give the memo to Bud. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It, it's my fault. I, I wasn't there to pick it up. All right, look, we're all getting a little rattled. Let's take 15 minutes, please. Props. Yo. Sure, it says, uh, washroom, doesn't it? Son of a gun, it doesn't say washroom. Huh? Can you stay in line or I'll ban you from the studio? Yeah, can you tell me what kind of bond did that? No. I uh, won't or can't? No comment. Is it true that the police received a number of threatening letters and, uh, they didn't take them seriously? I took them seriously. The police department has no comment to make at this stage of the investigation. shoes a nice shine. <laughs> Only kidding you, Davy. I love you. Just kidding. Well, that's very interesting, Mr. Ciccone, but I still can't release a, an active police file. They're confidential. Oh, come on, Redfern. Now, what am I asking here? I'm asking for a little peek, okay? Give me a break. Have I ever steered you wrong before? Yeah. Well, doesn't mean I'm going to steer you wrong again, does it? Oh, come on, please help me over here, huh? Well, I'll see what I can do. Call me at 9 tomorrow. T no, I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. Please, do something for me today, okay? Please. You know, I know this may come as a surprise to you, Mr. Ciccone, but I am actually a very busy person. You, you want to talk about busy? I'm going to tell you busy, Redfern. Call you know me tomorrow. what I have to do to... Hi, Ma. How you doing? Oh, fine, Louis. What do you got there? This is Jason's birthday present. You got any wrapping paper? Hey, guys. Hi, Jason. Hi. Godzilla! Right. Hey, wow. This is supposed to be your present for Friday, uh, your birthday. Stop! 
to a thousand feet or that. I love you. You love me? Yeah. Take it now. I want to build a lunar rover. Uh, not on the counter. Uh, okay. I'll build it over there. It's a fabulous set. It makes everything. The Astro, the village, the uh, You Luna. know what Marge is planned for Friday? No, what's she doing? Man? She's arranging to take Jason, your father, and me to the television taping of Red Suspenders. Well, that's nice. You'll have a good time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Jason! Uh, yes, that's great. Gee, that Freddy's the nicest person. Yeah, except for one thing. What? It was my idea. Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim, thanks a lot. You special effects guys. They got us. They don't go out. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go on again? It's okay. Take it over there, son, and you stomp on it. But don't hit the cake. Eat the cake. Thank you. Let us go. Okay, folks. Now you came to be entertained, and by golly, I think we got a good one, eh, hi? So uh it looks like they want me. Enjoy the show. Hey, hey, let's hear it for them. Remember exactly what I told you. Lots of applause, lots of enthusiasm, and I know you're gonna love it. Thank you. One and all. Okay. I can wash out 40 pairs of socks and hang them up on the line. <laughs> You can count from one to nine. I can scoop up a great big dip of love from the dripping skin. Throw it in the skillet. What do my shovel? And hurry back before it melts in the pan. Cause I'm a woman. I'll tell you the game. If a guy has to be a woman to keep his job around here, am I willing to make the switch? Well, if you're a woman, I'm going to switch. Freddy, you don't really think you're going to get away with this, do you? Please! Call me Frederico. I think he's kind of cute. Thanks, honey. It'll never work. I'm the token woman around here. You may be token, honey, but I'm the real thing. I'll see you in the shower. <laughs> I want to talk to you about this. I need to do this. Saved in by the bell. Can I have the autograph, Freddy? It's for my kid. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> I can't one. believe Down it. Never mind one. Cut the scene. Cut the scene. Your cone. Hey, you promised you'd be here. What kept you so long? Traffic. Take him. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just doing my job. That's all. Do my job. Mr. Ciccone, how are you? I'm terrible, thank you very much. Why terrible? Ewell's been released and Freddie Harris has been charged with murder. I thought she'd be on top of the world. My mother's not talking to me because she can't believe her favorite comic could be a murderer. My wife's not talking to me because she thinks I rigged the whole thing just so she'd lose her job. Even my father's not talking to me. Why? By the time I get back from the TV studio, his bread was burned. 
Well, I'm still talking to you. Well, thanks. Um, may I buy you lunch, Mr. Ciccone? Why don't you call me Louie? Okay. Where do you eat? Uh, just in the cafeteria. So I don't need a tie, right? I'm hoping and wishing that the next apparition is the sight of you welcoming me home. It's hard enough living without having visions to the left and the right of you. They won't leave me alone. Give me a cold, hard fact. I'm seeing, I'm seeing things. things, believe me, you've never seen before. But little, little things deceive me, like when you threw me out the door. I couldn't believe my eyes. 